Hello everybody. Today I'm going to take a hammer to this piano. I'm going to smash it to tiny little bits of matchstick wood and I'm going to record the sound as it screams in its death throes and then use those as samples. So let's get... What's that? You said Heaviosity have just done exactly that with a new library called Uncharted 88? So I don't need to smash my dear piano up? Well, that's great news. So I'm going to be looking at that library and another one called Strands, which is all kind of inter really interesting sound designery, bowed sort of sound. So I'm going to put the two together and see what we come up with. You up for that? Great, let's get on with it. Right. So here we are. Here it is. It's called Damage Uncharted 88. 88 being the keys. Uh, now I've I originally heard this was incoming. I didn't know it was anything about piano. 88, 88 what? 88 keys on your keyboard. Muffin, what are you like, guy? Anyway, it's, uh, there's a very entertaining video with a man explaining how they bought a piano and smashed it up and recorded it and all the rest of it. And this intriguingly is described as, here we go, whoom. If you look at the top corner there, damage pack 02, okay. One presumes, therefore, that this is, you know, one of a series of little expansion packs for Damage. I'm a big fan of it. Damage is my go-to epic percussion library. This is a kind of add-on, and, and it adds... Wah! It adds on rather well. Um, I'll give you a quick whiz, and then we'll introduce you to this one, which is the other sound we're going to be looking at, which is Void and Vista Strands. The reason I'm doing these together is because they both have that kind of sort of dark, noirish, psychological, thrillery kind of thing. You know, man tied up in his own headphone thing, being strangled uh, type sound. God blimey, what's going on here? Anyway, uh, get your act together, guy. Here we go. Right. Um, so this is the first one, pounding uh, string trains. There you go. That's... So all these that's a nice sound oh yeah okay so that's that's the the territory we're in think of anything you can do to a piano not my piano their piano uh, record it do weird stuff with it and it gives this this kind of signature sound flavor thing going on, which is pretty good. Um, so you've got, as you do with uh, a number of the other uh, damaged things, you get a kit designer, you get a loop designer, and you get the ensemble designer. Uh, let's have a quick look at this. I haven't looked at this yet. Uh, yes, I do want to replace it. Thanks for asking, but yes, I do. Okay, so it's a kit. Etc. Uh, loop designer. So I'm sure if you, if you just can't be bothered to spend the half hour putting it together, mm. <laughs> seductive, isn't it? You can just. That's the trouble with loops. It's just sort of sounds good out of the box, so you go, yeah, I could use that. I bet I try not to, but sometimes I'm seduced by the dark force. Use a loop guy, use a loop. No, no, use a loop guy. No, program it yourself. Don't be lazy. Okay, that's Uncharted. We're gonna be coming to that one in a minute. Woo! Meanwhile, welcome to the world of Void and Vista which sounds like a sort of cinematic advertising company somehow. Right, you get one patch. No, you don't, you get, one, you get one thingy and then you get a whole load of different. Oh God, I'm explaining this badly. Right, these are all things which can be sort of bowed or electronic eyed or, oh, guy, come on. Wheels are really coming off right now. I like this a lot for a, for a number of reasons, look. And you can cross fade and fade it with something else. Then you want to change the sound. So you go into this, say, let's have some bowed vibes. Let's change the sound on this side. Let's have, oh, what's broken tape? Oh, quite like that. Okay. 
um, we can pitch that down. Then we can introduce some motion. You've got to love the graphic though, haven't you? The, the hand thing going on in the middle there? It's, it is very, very easy to come up with your own stuff. So let's just choose a patch at random. There uh, we go, come on, what, let's have a look. So you get highlights, designed, foundations, morphs, uh, or in it, you can start from there. So it works a little bit like, boom, let's just try cavern slide. Yep, that does the business. Okay. Now you start to see why I was doing them both at the same time, because I thought this would be a good idea, because they kind of inhabit the same part of the cinematic universe. Right, now we're going to write something as though I'm being snuck up on, or whatever. Do you remember when Danny Elfman snuck up on me? I haven't seen him recently. Okay. Um, let's choose a patch here and go with it, and then designed. Pads. Betrayal. There we go. Oh, 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 come on, come on. I mean, what can you say? That's a very nice start. That's got a kind of real interesting uh, sort of mm, kind of thing going for it. I'm going to bounce stuff out as I go because that's the way I roll. And uh, then I may be able to mess about with it uh, some more. Um, here we go. Let's put that back up there where it should be. Oh, come on, guy. Focus. Right. Here we go. Let's have another one. We've had a bit of betrayal. <laughs> what else we got going on? Uh, I want something higher now. I want something motions. Diflim cord. Uh, and really, hidden character glossed over. How do they come up with all that? Do you think? Do you think they use Chat GTP? Can you use Chat Chat GPT to generate patch names for synthesizers? Only one way to find out. Off topic. Off topic. Okay, <laughs> try a chat GPT. Okay, come up with 10 names for sample patches that imply scariness. Would this work? Or actually what you could do is you could feed in the names of the ones I got and then say come up with 10 more. <laughs> oh, I honestly, Shadowland, Dread Zone, Nightmare Peak, Abysmal Death, Terror Trail, Chasm of Horror, Phantasm of Forest, Haunted Hollow, Descent into Darkness, and Malevolent Marsh. Hilarious. Hilarious. Right, and right now there's people there at Boyd and Vista who are saying, why do we spend is go in there and say, like that guy Mitchell more off the YouTube does. Right, okay, piercing glides. Let's, I'm just going for piercing glides. No, I want something thinner than that. I could make it thinner. That sounds a little bit too wobbly. Okay, uh, see, see what we get on with, with this. Let's... Mm. 
no, 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 it's not quite right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, we're coming to, we're, we'll come to heavy offset in a moment. I'm going to init. I'm going to start from the scratch and I'm going to go, uh, what am I going to have? Uh, acoustic Ebo on one side. And uh, we're going to have on the other side, waves, no, cyber hum, depth, no, I want everything is glass. I'm going to go glass on the other side. Okay, now. Okay. Oh, that's better. What I might do also is stick it through uh, a little bit of an effect here. If in doubt, Actually, I'm going to want to do is going to put it. I'm going to send it straight to that one. Yeah, I could send it to straight to my friend Cinematic Rooms. Yeah. Uh, hello, Cinematic Rooms. Oh, hello, girl. Nice to see you again. Yeah, it's been a while, hasn't it? Okay. Have a long reverb on. Okay, let's do this thing. Sorry, making myself scared with my own music. Sorry, that was really loud and distorted, I expect. It's not that scary. Um, okay, a little bit copper. So we're gonna just loop that. Uh, not exactly looped, but uh, you get the gist. Um, let's, yeah, so let's get. Get it quieter to start with. And we're going to put some uh, rubber on him too. Why do I say him? What makes me think that that sound, it's a bloke? It's not. I'm sure that one coming out of there, is that? Oh, there, probably. Show me which one is which. Okay, that's all good. All good, all good. Right, I'm now happy. Right, now, meanwhile, back to the world of Uncharted 88. Let's get this going. Now, um, am I going to use this for... Where's it gone? I've lost my window, lost my window. There it is. Right. Do we like pounding the trains? Damaged piano hits. Well, that's quite good. Do you know what? If you black hold that, black hold it, guy. Yeah. I'll show you what I mean. It's uh, the lovely people at Eventide uh, sold me this. It's just kind of. It's sort of, it's somewhere between reverb and granular synthesis, and it's just really, 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 really good. Lots of people, unfortunately, use it now. Dark matter. Yeah, quite like that. Now, meanwhile, inside, actually, to be honest, there's perfectly good reverbs and things in here. So why am I doing that? Um, it's boom, booming just. Oh, I like that even better. Master effects. Shall we have, so you got EQ compression, saturization, reverb and delay. 
Uh, filter, filter, let's, uh, where's the filter? High pass, okay, it's a high pass filter. I was gonna low pass it to be actually the honest. Oh. Oh yeah. I like that a lot. See, it's got a lot of character. It, it doesn't sound like everybody else's piano or... Okay, I'm going to have another layer on the top. And we're going to... I have a few more of those, a couple more of those. Right, now let's go for it and find another one. I'll tell you what I also really like in this uh, is, uh, where's the performance things? They do this really cool performance stuff. Iron Hammer, String Strikes, String Strikes Menu, String Picked, Ambient Scrapes, how about that? Oh yeah. Bit of delay. What do you think? Oh, 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 excitement. I like that. Don't turn everything on at once, guy. I'm going to wait for the third incarnation of this hit. As people are wandering around. And then we're going to bring in our scratchy 16th. Ready? Something like that anyway. Ah! Disaster. Did I remember to? I did now. Retro Record comes to the rescue once again. <laughs> if only life had Retro Record. I'll leave you with that thought. Where was I? Come on, I'm going to put another layer of uh, Uncharted in here. We like the scrapey things. I, I tend to move away from... Oh, do you know what? Iron Mallet felt ambient. Oh! Hey, piano, aren't you glad I didn't take the hammer to you and these guys did it to some... Aren't you? Yeah. Piano says he's really pleased. He's still in one piece. I'm watching you. Right. Oh, listen. I really, they obviously know some really, really good percussionists because just listen to the, if I tried to do it, it would sound really kind of bleh. Well, not bleh, but it's just not that good. Okay, let's stick another bit on. Well, that's not so good. You were doing all right up to there, guy. Well, all right. I was doing brilliantly. No, you weren't. You were doing all right. If I say all right, I mean all right. This definitely wants some, I, I want, I don't know if it, it wants some delay, I want some delay. And it can do with a bit, 
hey, ha having needlessly gone and used somebody else's reverb, somebody else's, only the, the best reverb in the world ever, uh, cinematic rooms. Um, we're now going to add some reverb from when here. Right, amount, mix, uh, what have we got? Drive, level, mix. Oh, here we go, so size, enormous. Something slightly dodgy happened at the end there, but nevertheless. Okay, let's have a little listen to where we are. I like this. You could do a whole film with these two things and it would sound very distinctive because they've both got real character. Um, it's distinctive until everybody uses them. <laughs> um, so Damage Un okay, let me, Damage Uncharted, first of all, I mean, it's, it sounds unique and that's quite a big word in this day and age. Um, it's not gonna give you the enormous, you know, enormous Armageddon drums and all the rest of it. That's not really what it's for. Um, but it's got lots of really cool sounds and I recommend going and watching the video of the guy telling you how he made it because I think it's quite fun and gives it, you know, you start to understand how it goes together. The um, uh, Void and Vista Strands is, it's almost more like a synthesizer where because it just dares you to jump in and change things and mess about with it and make your own sounds and it's you know, I've only just started to scratch the surface, but I mean, the stuff, all the kind of different things you can get into here, there's so much. Um, it's very, very easy to play with. You can um, put uh, MIDI uh, controllers on just about everything. Um, and again, it sounds really interesting. And uh, neither of these are super expensive in this cost of living crisis age in which we live. Um, so Void and Vistas is currently 99 quid and Uncharted is $149. So there you go. And, uh, you know, hope you found that fun. And um, yeah, I think I'm gonna go and have a cup of tea now. But look, um, nice to see you again. We've been really busy at Think Space Education producing new course materials. So I haven't been able to do as many of these as I would have wanted for YouTube because I'm too busy doing stuff for my students. But I will come back as soon as I can and do more things like this. So look, thank you very much indeed for your company and I look forward to seeing you again soon. And uh, if you're interested in the courses we do, go and check us out at Think Space Education. See you again soon. Bye bye.